<laughs> I hate that car so much. <laughs> so much. You know, yesterday I said I was gonna I was gonna take you back. Um, and I even said how far back. I said it was gonna be a 2019 experience. We're going way back. Goes a little something like this. It's Super Peggy World by Smaskin. I don't know anything about Smaskin and I don't know about this hack, but I was digging around. I was like, surely I've played all the beginner hacks that exist at this point, but I was completely wrong. We've got a 2019, an early 2019 beginner. It's a 13 exit by Smaskin. It was only ever released one ROM hack and it says it's for beginners and it's a way of having fun to feel good about doing cool looking tricks without being punished or stressed that easily. But there's some Kaizo blocks later and some trolls. And um, they, they strongly believe it should be on the playlist for all beginners in Kaizo. So 13 exits with two hidden switch palaces, one hidden side quest, um, and some three up moons I don't care about, but well, you know, I'll get them if I see them or if I can get them. If they're in my way, if I accidentally collect one, then I'll get it. <laughs> um, the levels are short, get a few tricks. They get a bit challenging close to the end. We've got a retry patch and the double spin jump anti fail patch. Very cool. And there's, uh, you know, we're on the 1.4, whatever's going on with that. So it's got a 4.3 with 11 ratings. Lots of comments too. So what do we got? We have the, the status bar with 13 lives. All of these say 13, so I assume it's infinite lives, given that it's got a retry patch. Looks pretty chill. Um, interesting 1F zeros. Yeah, looks fine. Looks fine. No problems here. Lots of, yeah, lots of 1F zero action going on, which is cool. Anyway, very vanilla looking. Um, whoa, whoa, all the comments. Giraffe Killer said it was cool in the initial release, the early, the January release. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, enjoyed the hack. There's a lot of spoilers. I don't want to reveal those. Difficulty is just right for beginners, I would assume. It's amazing. First one I've ever played. <laughs> um, very fun hack. Good soundtrack. Platforming fun. Some parts you had to wait quite a bit, which disrupted the flow. Um, that's what people are saying. Four out of five. Didn't troll me. Okay. Weird flex. Yeti said it was cool. There's a couple of blind jumps, kind of ruins the fun when you die, something you couldn't see coming. Uh, lots of comments here from Anon25879. Enjoyable. The HUD got in the way in the second half of Fire Brigade, whatever that is. Yeah, fun, beginner friendly. That's what people are saying. That's kind of what I was expecting. So, very cool. But, you know, 2019 beginner, it's usually, I expect something different. You know, the 2019 beginner stuff, maybe it's harder. You know, I've played a couple of beginner ones the other day. Um, and, you know, sometimes they're really tricky. Sometimes beginners are going to do hard stuff. Even, you know, I've played a few hacks. It's still hard. You've got to remember, it's Kaizo. Super Peggy World. It's uh, good for all ages. A hack... Or beginners made by a beginner. Uh-oh. I didn't they didn't say that. <laughs> That's the one you gotta watch out for. Enjoy. Says Smaskin13. Uh-oh. 1313. Webfoot walk. We got due to bad treatment and many drops in lava, my tongue is occasionally weird. I'm off to find a treatment, says Yoshi. <laughs> That's why the tongue is weird when he's in ghost house and castle levels. All right. Um, this overworld. Um, e. E for everyone. What else have we got? Yeah. Looks fine. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it's fine. There's going to be things that people are going to see right here that they'll have uh, a problem with if they're a nerd. Don't worry about it. We've got the wise little hen. Yellow coins represent ordinary jump. Blue coins represent spin jump. Peggy. 
is what that says. All right. Uh, all right, man. Ah, uh, my bad. Almost one shot it. So I guess this is for beginners after all. Good indicator. Wee! Blue coin to indicate a spin. Ah. Oh! Alright. I don't think we need the shell. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Clutch that out. What a legend. Alright, the Clock Watcher. It's a red level. We can looking for these hidden switch palaces. Uh, okay, maybe P speed. Wondering why there might be uh, an opening there. <gasps> I um, I need a key. Losh wants the zoom. There we go. In glorious 4K. It's not 4K. I don't have that kind of equipment. All right. Key. I will get it this time. Oh. Count Chocula. There we go. Okay. Inferior Decorator? It's a P-Switch level. I have already lost the pace. I need the grab block. Alright, that seems cool. And do some more stuff. It is kind of hard to see where you're going sometimes. You got some little friends hanging out up the top. Just uh, follow them along. Well, we don't need all of them. I, I, my jump didn't come out. That's my fault, I guess. <laughs> I didn't want to die like that. You gotta, you gotta at least attempt the jump. jump. Boing, boing. This is, this is the, the spinies, right? Oh, the end was right there. All right. Can't go get back in the pipe. There we go. Yup. All right, back to the clock watcher so we can progress through the level in the, the more linear kind of way. Don't need any of that. Shell move. All right. Uh, we'll see if I can do that next time. Oops. All right. Boing, boing. Midway. Uh, all right. I didn't see that guy down there. Anyone else spot that one? <gasps> I 
the sumo bro. Wow. Okay. Got it done. Heaps of people don't release their actual first hacks. Yeah, imagine doing that. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be me. Clown of the jungle. Clown of the jungle? What could that mean? Oh, we'll hit, we'll hit all of these. You got to. Or you'd hit the side ones. Uh oh. Okay, one go. What up, Drew? Pegging world. It's Peggy. I was thinking maybe people might confuse this ROM hack for Super Penny World, just by Blargon. Midway. The green coin represent when to throw the spring forward. Let's go. Uh, what green coin? That green coin. All right, we found it. What did this fella for? Uh, yep. <laughs> this shows you when to throw the spring forward. <laughs> Which are really cool. You don't have to bother downloading those at all. So I want to spin with the springboard. Up ahead is the clown. Don't worry about how it looks. It is just as nice as an ordinary orb. Okay. Oh. <laughs> clown. Yeah, I got clowned. I can't believe it. It's clawed. It's clawbering time. <laughs> Triple one. The dog napper. Oh no, not this port. It, it triggers me so much. I talk about it every single time. If you've never played DuckTales and you don't know what this song's meant to sound like, it's fine. Never, never listen to the Amazon, oh sorry, the uh, African Mines uh, sound like music from DuckTales on the NES. You'll think it's fine. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh. and ditch the Yosh. There we go. You played through Bart vs. the World? My god. I'm so sorry for you. I remember renting that game back in the olden days. And I didn't get too far. Lush, how did you feel about the ice, the ice cavern? Was that your favorite level in Bart vs. the World? Fire Brigade. Oh, this is the one. Someone said something about Fire Brigade in the comments. Got a duck under that, I would guess. And then, what do I do there? Okay, duck. Up. Duck. Do a shell jump. Ah, swooper to save the day. So there, then there. Cool idea. Like out of sequence stuff. Have to take damage. Chuck gate, just like Miyamoto predicted in 1990. Go fast on the first jump or glitchy bad stuff happens. Also, there is lava chasing you. Got some weird layer 2 stuff, maybe? Like that. And then... Uh, 
do that. And then get the shell again. <laughs> and then shell jump. And I... Oh, they can get the shell again. All right. And then... We're out of shell. And then we spin over here. Oh my god. Little jump. Where's the switch? My god, this section is so long and boring. Oh. <laughs> what is what's all this mean? I think I hit that vine when it was too high up. Um, there's a Kaiser block there. There's a Kaiser block there too? Oh no. Oh, they just want me to live here forever. Cassio for 10 minutes and noping out is honestly the smartest thing anyone has done. Salute. Alright, so what if I do it early? I'll just do it that way. Now, vine block. Wait. There's a Kaiser block. There we go. That climb felt like it would have taken Mario to a moon if it was just a little bit longer. Yeah, so the timer is, for reference, the timer is now at 270 something. So it was a uh, hundred and twenty Mario seconds, um, which is about uh, what is what is that in actual seconds? It's probably about eighty real life seconds. Yeah, who cares about the moon? I guess the the music was the moon for sure. Uh, Chip and Dale, rescue rangers. Good start. The song isn't? Okay. I was going to say. I have no idea uh, about that kind of stuff. It should be. <laughs> I wonder what's up the vine. Probably the secret. I will come back for that one. It says, first coin, jump up. Second coin, hold right. Let's go, secret exit. It's definitely up the vine.
<laughs> yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> am I going to take a run at pronouncing that? Oh my god. Don't worry about it. I don't need them all. We're simply going up. I knew it. What a genius. Nice tiles. Wide open spaces. Whose album was called Wide Open Spaces? One of those like American, almost country kind of people, right? Yep, probably needed that. Okay. Could you cheese this? What is this? That? Collect the coin. Gotta hit the on off. Oh, there's the problem. The on off is the problem. So, alright, alright. Fair enough. Damn. Alright, whatever. I don't I don't see a cheese anymore. To my little brain. Left Disco. Oh, yeah, if I get the Cooper to jump over the shell, it's totally, it could be a thing. That's a great point. Can't go back in. What the hell was that? What did I die to? So I'll go fast there. Stretch block it is. There's a whole stack of them down there. I love those, um... Those vines there as well, they might function as like a quick d-pad test. Oh. Damn, no yum. Window cleaners, another secret exit to be obtained. Oh my god. Death cannons, can't hate that. Oops. Oh. Oh, man, I forgot how powerful Kaizo blocks are. I remember, like, after I played... Whatever the last old school thing was, I was checking for Kaiser. I was so paranoid about Kaiser blocks for like the next five hacks I played. What's up? How would you ever get up there? I just want to see if it scrolls up. It does, but I don't think there's anything there. And there's got to be, right? There's a key up there, actually. Oh, well, that's how you do it. All right. Sea Scouts. Uh, plus, there's the hack that was made for me. He already played that. Yoshi has heard a rumor that Reginella, Queen Under the Sea, has a cure for his tongue. His tongue looks fine in this level. Jump left to help Yoshi, otherwise drop him in the lava to once again use Yoshi as a tool. <laughs> Don't worry about the water in that section, by the way. It looks perfectly fine. Um, well, we should probably sort out Yoshi's stupid tongue, right? Uh-oh, if we're swimming, I might need to swap controllers. We'll see how I go. 
Yeah, it'd be interesting. See how that uh, thing works if it's if you've uh, got a fix. Can I beat him? Can I screen scroll? Oh, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Not so insurmountable anymore. Love a good screen scroll. I saw a moon down there somewhere. Uh, what? Do I gotta bring Chuck with me? Can he do that? No, there's no way. I guess, uh, don't kill... So just, just bait the Chuck out? Something like that. Oops, all right. Definitely need the good diagonal controller for that section. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Love a good chuck. Hello, sky high. Okay, now there was a, yeah, something like that there. Come on, there we are. Love a good water level on a Monday? Yeah, me too. Gotta love the water level. Oh. Is this supposed to be a Ninja Turtle, like an unsampled? Ninja Turtles port? What is this? I can't see the boo. God damn it, dude. Gotta jump back under there once it's visible again. It's so hard to see. Is it just me? down. After defeating Red Janela's guard, she gave Mario the cure. However, Mario threw it away. I was wondering how they're going to explain that away. Oh, I, wait, I can replay it. An LR into this thing. Let's find out what's on the right this time. Oh, it's just a side exit. All right, cool. Window cleaners. All right, so we've got to play this level like normal. Back to the start. No secret exits. Kaiser block doesn't exist. Uh -huh. W, me and Joy. In order to make a spin jump off Yoshi, you need to spin jump onto him. Um, Alright, well, I'm sure that'll be relevant at some point in the future. Like, exactly there. So, like, less speed. Alright. It's the same setup. 
We got, oh my god, we probably, we gotta go under the goal because I'm stupid. Alright. Um, I tried to go under but I got clipped on the ledge. That's why I went up the top. I hate that car so block. <laughs> so much. Okay. There we go. Sure, buddy. Boing, boing. Alright, so I just want to see if I scroll left. You know, if I did it from the left side of the goal, he'd walk a little bit less. No, yeah, you, you probably absolutely need to do that. Oh, who knows? I'm kind of curious. Kind of, I'm going to go back and play the level again. So let's say we go here and scroll left as much as we can. I think he'll still fall through the hole, but maybe he'll peace out. No, damn it. Alright. Can't choose it. It was just slightly too close. Alright, that's fine. Worth a shot. Alright, lonesome ghosts. Uh, make sure not to despawn the mushroom after hitting it. Keep it visible. Also, have you seen the switches? Yeah, I have. Seen the switches. Start this section when the mushroom is passing coins. You have to pay attention to not despawn the mushroom. You said that already. Should have thrown that up, maybe. I think it's better to just do that. Uh, did that right, I guess? I don't think, uh, I don't think there's a chance for us to, to eat that, right? Let's pretend Yoshi's done for. I don't know if I need to despawn him, that's the next thing. Hopefully there isn't another Yoshi in the level. Where's the troll? Those are munches. Oh, what? Oh, all right. I can't remember what it was that I played that was like, I did the whole section with never letting go of right and run and kept peace speed the whole freaking time. And I would still not make it. It was so annoying. Uh, it was in Sabor World, though, maybe. Might have been in Super Sabor World? The, the tightest P switch run you got. Alright, uh, yep, so there, I guess I activate it over here. That's uh, it's way less tight if you activate it as late as possible. Alright. I made that hard on myself, I think. Alright. Sick Resnor battle. Alright. Now, can I hit them from up here? Probably not. He's kind of a messed up dude. Wouldn't trust him with my baby Yoshi. Oh, 
Why don't I just take my time? Well, not going for that one. Just wait. Maybe this one? Oh, there's a cannon over there too. I reckon that one might have been the better one. Anyway, there you go. Certainly that wasn't the whole hack. I didn't play 13 exits. Maybe I did. Guess maybe I did. All right, that was Peggy World, I suppose. The main director is Smaskin. First try, I did okay. This hack may not be the best hack. It might actually be one of the worst. However, when was the last time a beginner made a hack this good? Yeah, I didn't. And hey, why zero you played until the end? Shoutouts and inspiration. YouTube tutorials. Bob's YouTube tutorial is so old that it's in a 2019 hack. This was certainly an all timer. Definitely belongs on uh, a beginner's list. Huge shout out to HLXY. HLXY made that cool hack I played a little while back. I think it was 2018. Uh, it was really good. I liked it. I can't remember what it was called, but it was good. Um, this hack is dedicated to Peggy, an important man in an unimportant world, born and raised in Sjörmarken, Sweden, a place in the middle of nowhere. Smaskin. Any Swedes in chat feeling patriotic right now? Wolf guy used Bob's tutorial vid. I'm pretty sure I watched a bunch of it, but I didn't find it structured enough. I uh, I remember watching Dan of Most Trades tutorial before I even cared about Lunar Magic. I just was like, ah, oh, what's this all about? But the one that I found the most useful was Zamex's one. It's, uh, it's very well structured for me. In my opinion. Not that Dan's one is bad. Let's check that we got 13. Did I get all 13 exits in Smaskin's Peggy World? I did. And it was, a, it was a, definitely a cool time. I think this is interesting. Like, this is an interesting enough hack that I might say that you should play it. But it might be a beginner hack. It's a little boring. Like, uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, but where is that level? Where's the friggin level? Where's the fire brigade? Do the second half of this level. Um, it's too slow and too long. <laughs> That's all. That was really the only downer on the hack for me. I think the second half of this level was like the slowest vertical auto scroller where there's nothing to do. EJ. I can take that as for what it is, and I do have a boring stream. Peggy World. Yeah, I thought this one would take a bit longer.